Welcome to Washita Mountain Living Morning Coffee. That's right. We're going to try to bring back the morning coffee. Not saying every morning, but we'll try to do it five, six days a week. It don't take but 15 minutes to do. Uh, like I said, my name is Mike. My main channel is The Dog Man. This is my side channel. It's here. I might as well use it. So we're going to use it at least in the morning uh, to do the morning coffees. Uh, we're getting into spring pretty soon, so I'm going to be planting my seeds. Uh, this channel is more or less going to pertain to gardening, some of the things that are going on uh, around the homestead. I actually got, where is it, right here. I may start on this today, but this year I ordered these, uh, these little trays. I don't know, there's six, six of them, I believe, but they also come with grow lights. So I can have these anywhere in here. This little mess here has little grow lights. Here they are, here's the light. LED, so I'm going to get these planted up. This has one of these for each container, and they will have a lid on top of them, like a little terrarium. So I found that on Amazon, wasn't too expensive. I figured I'd try it because... As you know, in this house, there's not very good lighting. Uh, in the years past, when I start my seeds, I'll put them upstairs uh, in front of the window. But they haven't done that great up there. So I'm going to try these. If these work, I'll probably maybe order some bigger ones. Um, you know, six trays, that should get a good start. Uh, last year, I didn't start any seeds. Uh, the neighbor actually brought, brought me by a whole bunch of starts. I wasn't even going to have a garden, but I'm glad I did because it ended up being, uh, you know, a pretty good harvest. So, uh, we're going to try this out this year. I've got, I think, 22 pots. I had mostly tomatoes in them. Uh, I'm going to try to plant a little, you know, different variety of things this year. I already know it doesn't grow well here. I've tried year after year. Um, cucumbers. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. They just... They, they sprout, they grow big, it doesn't produce any cucumbers. Maybe one, maybe two, and then I give up on them. So I, my favorite crop is tomatoes. I love, now I'm getting into growing a little more herbs. Uh, I actually dehydrated my own, like oregano, cilantro, those things. I've got full jars of that. Um, peppers do well here of any kind, especially bell peppers. Uh, i got a big bell pepper. Blah, 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 blah. Big bell pepper harvest, so that did well. So, what's going on here? Uh, and this will be a good channel where I can answer some of your questions, uh, whether it be from the other channel or this channel. I got a call yesterday. They confirmed the 19th. Uh, if you've been watching over there, you know I bought a carport uh, last Tuesday. And they told me four to eight weeks uh, before it's here and set up and that I need to have the ground leveled. Well, they called me yesterday. That is now scheduled for Monday the 19th of February. So that's a week from Monday. And I got to get out there and level that out. Now, all that needs to be leveled for them to install it is where the long uh, rails go for the sides. So I'm going to go get some fill dirt up from the cemetery up there. I'll just take a shovel, load it in my truck. Because I want a good, I don't want to pile six inches of, of gravel there. Because what will happen is it's still on a downward slope. Water will eventually wash all that away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go pick up four railroad ties. The thing's 20 feet long. I may, I don't know what lengths they come in there. These are, they, you know, they usually come 8, 10, or 12 feet. I'm not for sure. But I do know that the price has really went up on that. If I had more time, I'd probably search for some used ones. I did look on Marketplace. They're, they're on there, but how far away they are wouldn't justify going to get them. I wouldn't save any money in gas, so I'm better off just getting them from my local hardware store. But I want to lay the railroad ties at least on the one end where it's going downward to hold the gravel in. So that way no erosion will, will affect that. It's, this whole property is tricky trying to put structures on because it slopes this way it slopes this way i mean it's like just imagine a big mound 
and I'm right on my my cabin's right on top of it, and uh, you know, some of it's hard to see, but it is all sloped downward, in both east to west, north to south. It's a challenge, and I don't own any tractors, no heavy equipment, don't have access to that. Uh, yeah, Drew, he has that, but Jeff has that. That is 45 miles away from here. Okay, moving a piece of equipment like that to do a small job that I need done. That's not feasible, and I don't, I'm not going to, he's not done there, so that is why. I don't even ask. I mean, it isn't going to be that hard, and now what I'll do is I'll build up, I'll take my, I, I got pieces of rebarb where the square is going to be, and originally I was going to go 22 foot wide just to give it a couple of feet, but I'm only going to, I'm going to knock that down to 21, because I do have an electrical line for my well very close to that. But I went and watched some of my old videos where that got tore up when he was picking up the logs. So I, I know where it is now. That's a good thing about making YouTube videos. If you if you forget where something is, you can go back and watch your old videos. Hey, yeah, there it is. Okay, so you know. So I got to have that marked out. And I do know where it is now. So I'm excited for that to come. Um... I'll easily get both trucks in there. Um, you know, the old one, the other one, it's kind of, you ain't going to hurt it. But I don't want to buy windshields. Uh, we get a lot of hail here, so that's going to be nice. Uh, multiple purposes. I can pull the trucks out, set up saw horses, work in there, uh, cut 4 by 8 sheets of plywood, no problem. Uh, there's access to electrical right there uh, on the patio the front patio i've got an outlet there with four outlets in it um they also will need electric they could bring a generator when they install it but they asked me if uh you know electricity was available and i said it was so a week from monday and actually they she said they were showing up between four and five so they must be able to put them up pretty quick because but even if they have to work in the dark, I've got a big street light right above it, a uh, security light. So they'll still be able to see. At nighttime, my whole front yard is lit up. I mean, when I first bought this cabin, uh, the first night I spent out here, it got dark. And man, you could not see nothing. You couldn't see your hand in front of your face. It gets so dark. So I had them install the security light, an extra $6 a month, they said. You know what that is now? It's almost 10 that's how much it's went up. But so has everything else. Electricity. Man. And another thing that would pertain to this channel that I'm working on is, well, prepping. I was never a big prepper. Uh, but I am now. When it comes to food. I mean, when you get older, you're not going to be able, if something happens, you're not going to be able to be out there hunting for food. And, you know, you have to be somewhat prepared. So... I'm not going crazy with it, but I am, I probably spent $1,000 on canned goods this month. I have a full shelf full of canned goods, just basic things, not necessarily things that are good for you, but some of them are, I've got a lot of different kinds of beans, uh, 15 bean soup, I've got great northern beans filled in a five gallon bucket, I left them in the package, threw in a couple oxygen absorbers in there. It has the screw-off type lids that I ordered off of uh, Amazon. And I've seen that uh, Tractor Supply also sells those type lids. And you can get buckets anywhere, you know, good food-grade buckets. They sell those too. Uh, it wasn't any cheaper, but it really wasn't a lot more, you know, to have them. I'd rather go buy it local from a local place than to order it from somebody you don't know who they are. I could drink coffee, guys. Ah, that's good coffee right there. That's good instant coffee. Yeah. So, if I'm in the area of maybe tractor supply, I'm going to stop in there and buy it. I only got three of those five-gallon buckets with the screw-off lids. Uh, well, I can't remember the name of them, but they're, they're nice and handy because it, it's got a rubber gasket around them. And, well, that's another point. Out of the three lids they sent me with them, one was missing a gasket, so... If you've ever had to return anything to Amazon, or what, it's just not worth it. I don't do it. I could have took that back to Tractor Supply, but I, I'm, I think you can buy those gaskets that go in them lids. I'll have to look into that. 
But what I'm putting in it, I think on that one I put in packages of ramen noodles, ramen noodles, whatever you call them. It's filled to the top. I remember the summer of 1992. I was unemployed for that whole summer. Uh, the Army was sending me to uh, a school, and it got held up. So for that whole summer, I wouldn't say I was unemployed. That whole summer, I had nothing to do, but I didn't have any money either. And practically lived off them things. And you can make one pack of them, the average person, and get full. It doesn't last very long, but back then you could pick one of them up for like 12 cents. Now they're 50, almost 50 cents a package. But they're a good thing to have. Now the little packet they include in there is full of salt, bad things, but you're in a, a world-ending situation. I don't think you're going to care about that. Uh, but you have the option to throw that out and mix up your, you know, I've, I've stored cans of chicken broth, beef broth, a lot of that. Cream of mushroom soups. I've got wide noodles, uh, egg noodles, wide noodles, all kinds of pasta. Uh, but the cream of mushroom soup, which also has probably a lot of sodium, uh, that's good to make a lot of dishes like tuna noodles. You take that, I've got a can of peas, put the peas in there. Uh, you know, if I'm growing celery or something, I can chop that up. Make tuna noodles. I've got a lot of cans of tuna fish uh, stored up. Now, when I build my new closet, and you will see videos of that on this channel as well, that's not going to happen until the carport's put in because the closet's right there at the front of the cabin. The carport will be right there, so it's going to be convenient. Where I'm going to be cutting long eight-foot boards for that. So I'm going to wait an extra week to start on that. Uh, I will be able to organize those canned goods. Uh, mostly half of that closet is going to be canned goods and, and things like that. The other half uh, will be where I can store my clothing, hang them up, because I don't have that right now. And it is a pain to fold everything up. I did buy a dresser. Uh, that will probably go inside that closet. This closet is going to be huge. It's going to be a big walk-in closet. Uh, it may look off compared to, you know, how your standard houses look and how things are laid out. But I don't care. It's my cabin. So I'm going to make it any way that I want it, and it's going to be useful. Uh, my only concern, and I'll have to see, I, I haven't experienced this, is in the summer, will it get hot in there? So I wouldn't think it's going to get too hot. Uh, I can probably leave the door open, and it'll be, you know, I'm, it, it's insulated on that one wall. I'm not afraid of it getting too cold in there. That's not, it's not going to get cold enough to freeze anything. But I'm just wondering if it's going to get too hot in there. If it is, I may have to, uh, I'll have to figure that out. I'm not going to add another air conditioner. But, you know, in you, I can't ever remember growing up in any house or living in any house where you open the closet and go in and it's it's hot in there. I just I don't not something I thought about, but we'll we'll see. And if if it does get too warm in there, I'll address it then. All right. Well, other than that, there, I got so many projects that need done. The bathroom, I got to get in there, finish that out. I'm, I'm thinking of changing some things around in there, probably getting a new sink. Uh, I've got some ideas. Uh, you have to understand, when, when I renovated this house, I did not have the funds sitting in the bank. I would do something $40, $50 at a time. I'd go buy $40 worth of lumber, and I'd be able to do something. And... You know, I had a very, very limited income. Um, that situation's changed a little bit. And, of course, with my YouTube channel getting... You know, I don't make a ton off YouTube, but it, it does pay my uh, most of my bills. So that leaves, you know, room for, for more things that can happen. Um, the kitchen, it's, it's going to need... The counter that I put in the kitchen was never intended to be permanent. So that's something else... I, I want to make my own counter, uh, but I need the shop, which I, I have not finished yet. <laughs> I need the shop to do that as well. I want to make it nice and custom. But the counter I have works for now. Uh, I, got, I got so many projects started, yet none of them are finished. But we'll get there. We will get there. All right, guys, we're going to leave these in about 15 minutes, but I hope uh, I'm going to put the word out on my other channel. hope you guys come join me every morning. 
We'll have a nice pipe and hot of coffee, or you can drink cocoa, tea. I don't care what you drink. Just, I want your peepers on that screen. That's what I want. Thanks for watching. Happy trails.